Luke Inman back in the ZoneCoverage.com studios. Now, I know everybody thinks Pat Shermer got a little too vanilla these past two weeks, keeping everything close to the vest. But when I watch the game back, I still see some things Shermer did very well. Specifically, he added a brand new package to his playbook, giving opposing defenses now another formation to have to plan against during the week. Smart man. So what did he do? Does anybody remember Avante Collins from draft weekend? No. Here you go. Super athletic tackle from TCU. who ran a crazy 4-8-140. When you watch the college tape, you'll see a kid who's outstanding at pulling and moving laterally, as well as getting to the second level of defenses. Shermer actually opened the game up by utilizing Collins right out of the gate on two early down runs, where he was very effective laying out good key blocks right away. Before this game, Collins hadn't played a single snap all season, but in total, Collins reported eligible 28 times on Sunday and acted as the team's sixth offensive lineman. But he lined up as just another tight end outside of both tackle positions on the majority of those snaps. Doing this allowed for the Vikings to get more beef up front and really bully a really good Bears defensive front around in the trenches. With six offensive linemen, along with David Morgan and C.J. Ham, the Vikings got a hat on a hat in the running game, and Latavius Murray and Jerk McKinnon saw huge running lanes, specifically on the back side of the play designs, after the Bears started to overcompensate towards the heavy side of those formations. With the Bears unfamiliar with this package, they were completely shell-shocked and unaware of what was going on until it was too late. So here we go. He's number 76. Watch him here early in the game on the first drive. Double-team the run, stopping defensive end, and just push him out of the running lane, giving Murray that little extra room to wiggle through. Again, he's raw, inexperienced, but the bottom line is he's getting another massive frame and offensive lineman into block. So much more beneficial than hoping your tight end can help seal the edge. Here you see Collins help seal the edge with Reef and Morgan on the left side before getting to the second level quickly. While Murray didn't run directly behind Collins and instead used his cutback lane once again for another big chunk, it's clear when you watch all these plays back, Collins made a huge impact on that first drive of the game and was a mismatch having a huge ripple effect throughout the next three quarters. Freeze frame it because it might be my new favorite formation. When you're in the playoffs, everybody knows you're going to run the ball. You got to love your chances when you get one of the best blocking tight ends in David Morgan next to two offensive tackles. And oh yeah, C.J. Ham behind him. That's a lot of beef and a lot of grown man strength to run behind to pick up those tough, gritty yards when things get tight down in the red zone and at the goal line. When the game's on the line. This power jumbo formation is the epitome of Mike Zimmer's old-school, hard-nosed physical philosophy. And in a game of inches, the real battle lies in the trenches. And I can't think of a better formation to go to battle with than what Pat Shermer drew up on Sunday. On second down the run, it's Murray up the middle, still chugging forward, still going. And he finally gets stacked up. Rockstar that she is. First down and goal. Murray. Touchdown. First and goal. It's Murray. Up the middle. Touchdown, Minnesota. Second and eight. They'll run it here to McKinnon. Good time. Jared McKinnon breaks free. Inside the Bears. Oh, realistically, this offense isn't going to change much, if at all, just because of the success of this new jumbo set. However, I can't stress enough the importance of putting another package on tape for an opposing defense to account for. Teams only get so much time during the week for film and practice, and adding another piece to the puzzle is going to make a huge difference. Unlike most teams who run this jumbo set, Shermer was wise to work in a few play-action passes from this formation once he established the run. And boy, was it successful, completing every pass attempt Collins was on the field for, including Stephon Diggs' TD reception. Putting on film successful runs and passes from this set forces teams to prepare for both options equally, despite the obvious run look. Lastly, even if the team chooses never to deploy this look again during the heart of their playoff games, when it comes to run out the clock, this formation was once again highly effective and allowed the team to be even more efficient on the ground. 
Keep a close eye out for number 76, Avante Collins, during the playoffs in this jumbo set. And tip your cap to Pat Shermer, who despite being vanilla during the final stretch, was able to put another wrinkle into the game plan, forcing defenses to study that much more during their weekly film preparation. For everybody at Zone Coverage, I'm Luke Inman, signing up. Run it again, it's Murray. Big hole, Latavius Murray. First down. Latavius Murray's had himself a day. Couple touchdowns, and this may be the icing on top. Murray rumbling across the 40 to the 44. He's over 100 on the day, a 22-yard run, and this is the Vikings. Great D, and they wear you out by the end of it.